All right, all you whistlers of the madness, Happy New Year and welcome back to Under the Radar. And man, oh man, even though we're starting a little bit late this year to tell you guys Happy New Year, we are happy, hyped, and excited to see what form of madness we can bring to this new decade and to this new year. Yeah, uncharted territory, folks. Uncharted territory. (laughs) But besides that uncharted territory and with Maestro writing down a map as we speak, we might as well go ahead and take out our left-handed scissors and cut out some very interesting newspaper clippings from this year and last for a very special edition of last year's news. Which, at this moment, I realize wouldn't work because we're already six days deep, but whatever. Because the first news story that we have up, for you fans out there of the Domino King and always wondered how many dominoes throughout the entire year he was able to set up, well, I have the answer for you. Because it's been announced as of this past week, the Domino King for his past was able to set up a Grand Slam total of 961,955 dominoes over the course of 2019. And it's almost a million dominoes, very impressive, and it's pretty cool that he set up a compilation of all of his past domino works throughout the entire year. But my real question is, How many dominoes did he set up in this past decade? Is it close to a billion? I got a feeling it is. But to find out that answer, folks, and even check out his past work of cool domino pieces from last year heading into the new decade and year for itself, you can head on over to his YouTube page, only known as The Domino King, to check it out for yourself. In other news, and more video game news of sorts, for you Up Up Down Down fans out there who always wondered about John Cone and if he wrestled, then I have some good news for you. Because it's been on their past episode of Up Up Down Down as the Ref John, or John the Ref, which sounds like a UPN show that would have been on back in the day, would reveal his past life heading into becoming a referee for the WWE. And one of the cool things that he said that he was a former wrestler that went under the name of Johnny Angel. Now that's a pretty cool wrestling name, I have to say. Now, I'm starting to wonder if he wore wings when he came out to the ring, but I highly doubt it. But if he did, good job, John Cone. Good job. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out the cool game of Uno they decided to play while having past quips of the wrestling experiences of Johnny Angel, then you can go ahead and head on over to their YouTube page, only known as Up Up Down Down, to check it out for yourself. And in other video game news, and in sad news for you fans out there of NBA 2K18, it's been announced as of this week that unfortunately NBA 2K18 servers will be shutting down as of this month. And for those who are wondering out there, the date of Doomsday has been announced as of January 18th of 2020. Which means you fans out there have less than two weeks to actually post online scores and actually go with the community and play games back and forth with this game. And for anybody out there wondering why they're shutting down the servers for 2K18, it's probably because of the release of the new 2K game for NBA, which is going to be 2K21, which should be hitting the shelves real soon. And yeah, also for any of you out there who created a My Career or My GM mode that saved online, definitely make sure you get that before the servers shut down because it will be no longer available as of the 18th of this month. And with that said, folks, if you guys want to check out any further news or whatever else is going to be affected data-wise for 2K18 for NBA, 
I recommend you head on over to bleedingcool.com to check it out for yourselves. And definitely back up your data if you want to keep it for this game in the near future. And in other news, and in news for you Nirvana fans out there, it looks like the surviving members of Nirvana, along with Dave Grohl and his daughter Violet, would all get on stage with Beck as well, before I forget his name, would all get on stage and would sing not only the songs of Lithium in Bloom, Been a Sun, Heart Shaped Box, and probably one of my favorite songs that Nirvana covered of Man Who Sold the World. And as a fan of those songs, to hear those covered by these musical legends was pretty cool. And not to mention, Dave Grohl's daughter knocked it out of the park for the man who sold the world. And for those who don't believe me about it and wanted to check out this reunion for yourselves, you can go ahead and check it out on the YouTube page of one man only known as Vinyl Villains, nice name by the way, to check it out for yourselves. And I'm hoping in the near future that they will have Daughters of Dave Grohl Violet on an album in the near future for the Foo Fighters. Probably to do covers, I don't know. Neither that or original work. Either way, it's good for me. And with that said, folks, wraps it up for another year starting edition of last year's news. And with that said, we might as well head back to this music, and when we return, we'll be back with more madness than you can shake a Geiger counter at, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 